I play Sigmund Freud starting at age 50. It's a period of his life in terms of the images we have of him um, that people are not that familiar with. He looks quite serious, you know, um, but what you realize in reading about him, what his contemporaries said about him, and even reading his letters, the, the letters he exchanged with Jung, is that there is a, uh, there's a very dry humor to him, you know, um, sort of a, a lot of times a deadpan humor, which has been really fun to play. Freud was very conscious of public perception of himself, of the science, and he wanted to keep things tidy. You know, he's a very formal, tidy person um, in some sense, old-fashioned really. And Jung represents something new, more youthful. There's a different kind of energy, you know, even in, uh, in reading their letters and the way that Freud wrote. He kept on dressing in the same way for many, for decades, you know, really a 19th century way of dressing. And his, his German, he wrote in, an, you know, the, the way German was written in the 18th and 19th century, he never really changed it. So there's a formality to his writing and to his presentation of himself but in conversation, he's witty and he's personable and he's uh, he's rather easygoing. But it's there's always a high standard. While Jung is is uh, deferential, he's he's his own man, and I think uh, Freud likes this for many reasons. Uh, you know, new blood new ideas, uh, someone to talk to, uh, talk with on an equal level, to learn from. You see the basis of their quick and easy early friendship, but you also see this, uh, the basis of what later uh, is, uh, you know, their discord. Certainly, uh, Sabina's character, you know, Kira's character. In a way, she brings them closer together, but at the same time, she uh, breaks up the relationship a bit. Not directly herself, but the effect of her relationship to Jung in particular. <laughs> 